Hello, my name is Douglas Block. I'm an author and depression survivor. Welcome to your Depression Recovery Channel, where each week we talk about practical tools and coping strategies for healing from depression and anxiety. Today, I want to talk about a healing principle that has been very helpful in my life, and I hope it's also helpful in yours. It's called, What Goes Down Must Come Up. And I'd like to illustrate this principle with a brief story about my own life. The time is August of 1983. I'm at home with my parents in New York in the 10th month of a depressive episode. I'd been hospitalized twice, and I feared I would never be able to get back to my home in Oregon. One morning, I was about to leave my home for an interview for a part-time job, hoping that a little bit of structure would help me to feel better. Just as I was about to leave, the familiar anxiety attack descended upon me. I said, enough is enough, and I reached for my bottle of Valium, a tranquilizer, but instead of taking one pill, I swallowed half the bottle. Not really thinking about the danger that awaited me, I said, screw it. I hopped in my car, got on the Long Island Expressway, and drove off to the interview. When I arrived at the interview, by the grace of God, it was canceled. It was then that I blacked out. To this day, I will never know how I made it home without getting an accident. Fortunately, I had not taken enough Valium to send me to the emergency room. Instead, when I got home, I vomited out and collapsed. I felt hopeless and defeated. 90 days after that low, these were my circumstances. I was back in Portland, living my own place and looking for a home to buy. I was dating a woman who would later become my wife. I was working at a sales job at which I was excelling. And I was working on two manuscripts with a friend that soon were to be published. This was the beginning of a three-year run where I bought my own home, got married, and published two or three books. In short, I'd gone from hell to heaven in three months. This was the experience of the author Lawrence Vanderpost, who is in a Japanese prisoner of war camp for a number of years. After he was released at the end of World War II, he wrote the following, The depth of darkness to which you can descend and still live is an exact measure of the height to which you can aspire to reach. I'll say it again. The depth of darkness to which you can descend and still live is an exact measure of the height that you can aspire to reach. Another way of saying this is, the deeper you descend, the higher you rise. Now, there are a number of images that reflect this truth. One is the death and resurrection of Christ, which we celebrate on Easter. Another image is the phoenix bird, and I did some research on it, and this is what I found. The phoenix had a 500-year lifespan, at the end of which the bird built its own funeral pyre on which it was burned to ashes. Yet, out of the ashes, a new phoenix arose. Now, I've seen this principle many times in my support groups, where people come at a very low place, almost non-functional, and then they get better. So here's one example. Uh, uh, a person was, uh, came to my group. He'd just been released from the hospital, actually. He had gone into a suicidal depression after uh, having an adverse reaction to a medication. Six months later, he was feeling a lot better, and now he's running his own YouTube channel on depression recovery. Another example, a woman came in, she had uh, lost her husband a couple years ago, was depressed, she was worried about her mother who was dying, and she got so anxious and depressed she couldn't leave her house. Finally, she attempted suicide. Fortunately, it didn't work. She came to my group, and after about a month or two, she went up to Oregon uh, State University, actually OHSU, Oregon Health Sciences University, where she got a course of electroconvulsive therapy, ECT. That did the trick. She came back to the group, she felt a lot better. A couple of years later, she remarried, and I called her just a couple of months ago, and she's still happily married. And finally, there is the biblical story of Job. As you may know, at the beginning of the story, Job loses everything that's important to him, including his health. He's obviously very depressed about this, doesn't know what to do. Even his wife says, curse God and die. But Job remains faithful. At the end of the story, Job's faith is rewarded. God speaks to him and restores him, and in fact, blesses him with twice as much as he had before his trials began. This is why I tell people who are in the depths of a depressive episode, 
Hang in there. What goes down must come up. The deeper you descend, the higher you will rise. Spring follows winter. Keep up the faith. Or, as it says in the book of Psalms, they that sow in tears will reap in joy. Now I would like to close with some of my favorite quotations that illustrate this resurrection and restoration principle. There is a French philosopher, Jean-Paul Sartre, who said, life begins on the other side of despair. His friend Albert Camus wrote, in the depth of winter, I finally learned that there was in me an invincible summer. The Old Testament prophet Micah wrote, Though I have fallen, I will rise. Though I sit in darkness, the Lord will be my light. The Eastern saint Swami Vivekananda said, Never are we nearer the light than when the darkness is deepest. And finally, the prophet Isaiah said in chapter 9, verses 1 through 4, The people who have walked in great darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in the land of deep darkness, upon them a light has shined. This is why I tell my clients who are in despair, hang in there. One day, if you wait long enough, you will be lifted out of the darkness and into the light. Just as the sun that sets at night rises at dawn, your resurrection and restoration await you. This has been Douglas Block. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something from it. If you want to give me your feedback, you can leave your feedback in the comments section, or you can email me, douglasblock at gmail.com. And if you want to learn more about this work, you can do so during the closing credits. Upper left-hand corner on my photo, you can click and you will be taken to the subscribe page for this channel. Below that on the book, you can click and you'll be taken to healingfromdepression.com, my website. And if you click on the videos at the right, you will be taken to those videos. And until we meet again, I wish you the best in your mental health recovery. Thank you.